How you doing, guys? I'm Lynn. And I'm Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Got the other time. Um, guys, listen, today's video we're going to be talking about phantom chords and uh, how we use and our views. And, phantom uh, chords. Ooh. <laughs> phantom of the opera. So basically we're just going to be... Well, phantom uh, of the crystal. <laughs> we're on fire here today. Guys, listen, so the phantom chords we're going to be talking about is uh, just our slant on our interpretation, as you know from our other videos. Um, this is just our opinion of it, you know what I mean? And just treat it as that. Um, everybody has their own information uh, contained within and they're just sure on it. So basically, this is what we think about phantom chords and how we think that it'd be good to have one. If you have one in your possession, um, how you could maybe try to uh, use it and see how it, uh, how it goes for you. Absolutely. Now, phantom chords is an amazing crystal because... What it makes it absolutely extra special is that it's actually got a crystal, well, many, many crystals. Sometimes you get one phantom um, inside the crystal, or other times you get many, many, many layers. Now, what's interesting about this crystal is that somewhere along its path, remember, crystals are thousands, millions of years old. Nobody actually quite knows how old crystals actually are, but there could be many millions Unless of years old. Unless you make old. them in the lab. Yeah, yeah laboratory-grown crystals can take Those like days, but we're talking about real natural crystals now obviously they can take thousands and, and possibly millions of years to grow now over that crystals time span while it's growing in the earth it comes across many processes now obviously it's not just continually it's continually growing but it does go certain stages where it was suddenly stopped during its growth and another mineral that's around the soil or it, the rocks where it's growing in will form over the top of it. Quite commonly, it's often chloride, which you often find in quartz. And this would leave a bit of a shadowy outline of the crystal inside the crystal. Because like the crystal, a holographic like a, very like a holographic image like is exactly holographic right, image. yeah. And the crystal will carry on growing. And then sometimes again, so many thousands of years along its growth, it will stop again. Another mineral will form over the top and then carry on again and another mineral. Quite often it's the same mineral all the way through, like chloride is very often found in clear quartz. Also, um, smoky quartz, you often see many phantoms in smokies and also natural citrines often have quite a lot of phantoms growing inside so them. Houses. So do haunted houses also have phantoms inside them. <laughs> but we're talking about crystals here. Now, with the crystals, obviously there it leaves many, many different outlays of the original crystal all grown inside it. A little bit like the layers of, of a tree. You know when you cut a tree in half and you see all those many, many layers. Or like um, an onion, when you unveil, <laughs> un unveil an onion, all many, many layers. <laughs> Did you notice she pointed at me when she said about an onion? That doesn't though. sound very nice, an onion. I like the tree one better. But obviously, like, what makes the crystal so interesting is quite amazing to look at with all the many, many, many different layers. It, it's quite a remarkable crystal, isn't and it? And you can actually see the different stages of it because it's not, although there's a uniform, you can actually see them go up in the stages, as Lim was saying, but sometimes you can see, like, a, a larger space in between it, which it, it's sort of fascinating to watch it because uh, we don't really know what them spaces uh, represent. As Lim said, we don't know the age of the crystal, but clearly you can see the different stages that has happened. And uh, we just think they're magical to work with. They're just a fantastic crystal to hold. And how would you hold them? How would you work with them over years? Yeah, well, they're, they're great. Uh, obviously, like like normal quartz, you can use them exactly the same way as, you, as you'd use clear quartz for gridding or for meditation, um, for relaxation, sleeping with under your pillow. But I think these are always good for revealing a lot of past lives. Remember, we've all got many, many layers all on us. and. Through our lifespans, I don't know how old any of you lot are, you could be like young, young child, you could be in your teens, twenty. so all like oldies like me and Sean, but as I, obviously you go through many, many things in your life, many, many different stages in your life, 100%. and yeah, and each time like you get through one, it could be good, it could be bad, you get through one thing, then you move on it and you go through another thing, but they're all growth periods, like with, with the phantom quartz, it's all its growth period, how it moves on, it leaves it the ghostly image of where it was before and it moves on. It's a little bit like that with us. And if you want to sort of like clear a lot of things in your past that you've gone through and you're not quite healed, 
Phantom Quartz is a great one to use for that during your meditations because you can tune into what's bothering you in your past, what you've never quite let go, or you've never healed from, and use that during your meditations with the quartz. And it will really help for you to, to let go of all that that you've been holding on to. So it's quite, it's quite an interesting little quartz, isn't it? I like that. Isn't that saying? I like that there, by the way, about uh, comparing us with the Phantom Quartz with our life's experiences. Although we can't see uh, carbon copies of us or holographic images. Do you know what's interesting yourself? though? They actually do say that every seven years, I don't know how true this is, I haven't looked into it enough, but they say every seven years, we completely change our whole bodies inside and outside, like all our cells that make us up, all our hair, our eyes, our skin, everything, even, even everything inside you. You haven't changed in seven years? It's completely, after seven years, it's completely changed. So when you think so about that... So if you happen to wake up, with a different man or a different woman in your bed, um, <laughs> you could probably use that one. I mean, it would completely change into something different. Like but that. apparently, it's true. They say that every seven years, you completely every single cell, every atom of cell in your body Have I changed completely in changes in seven years. So although you might look the same, maybe a little bit older, we are all. Think about it. We're all carbon copies of ourselves over the years. Have so, I changed in seven years? You haven't actually. I think you look probably even better. In the seven years, so did they look bad beforehand? No, no, you, you didn't look bad before. You're just what? looking, you're looking better with each year. <laughs> but when you think of it like that, like we don't stay the same, we're changing all the time. And you think of crystals as well. Bear in mind that the life of a crystal um, is never ending anyway. But I think that's, I, I love the idea that the different stages in the quartz is growth is like stopped, it's hindered forms a little outline, little shadow, and then it carries on and on and on. I find that amazing. And so that's what you, you can actually... do as well. When you're going through like, you know, crap in your life and you've gone through it, you form a little layer, a hard layer around yourself. And then a new fresh one grows, a new fresh one goes. We grow from our experiences all the time. And the, the fantastic thing about um, working with the crystals, you're constantly learning. Do you know what I mean? There's nobody experts and everybody's just learning their, their path. And then it says, during our life, uh, your life as well, uh, you've experienced things. And but unlike the 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 phantom quartz, we can't really get to see the experiences that we've gone through. We can certainly remember some of them. So, as I said, if you wanted to shift some baggage, some energy, um, sit with the the crystal in your hand, maybe looking at the layers of it, and constantly just to learn to work with the crystal energy, and it'll start to bring back, you know, images from your past, your 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 lives, possibly past lives. And uh, it's just a great one to be working with. So definitely meditation with one would be fantastic. I would generally say we would use ours more so for the meditation purposes because it's just great um, to shift a lot, of, um, a, lot, a lot of negative energy, but also to give you clarity of mind just to see where you're coming from, where you want to be going to. So definitely be Absolutely. And we them. find it's really good. If we have clients come to us that are dealing with past issues in their life, they're saying, oh, you know, Lily Sean, I really can't let go of this. This happened to me sometimes 20, 30, 40 years ago, and they're holding on to it. It could be a very painful experience. We find that by using phantom cords over them and the third eye as well, and also on the body and around them, it does really help because we we never tell them what crystals we're actually using. They don't know, they'd be lying there with their eyes closed. And afterwards, we obviously we do a record card and get the feedback from them. It's quite interesting whenever we use phantom quartz. The feedback is very interesting. They'll say, do you know, I started thinking about this and this happened years ago and years. I don't know why it came, came up now. So it's an interesting crystal indeed, isn't it? So I'm trying to get yourself one. that they're quite, they used to be that everybody thought they were quite rare to get, but they seem to be surfacing more now, especially the more people get into the crystals, more people starting to realise them. You can actually get them about some of them are natural, some of them are polished, but the, the phantoms and need to watch those. Sometimes you might actually think that, you know, one's a phantom and it's not really a phantom. It could be a manifestation crystal. And the two differences would be this one here. Although it looks like a phantom, it's not. It's actually a crystal within a crystal and it's a solid, um, it's a solid uh, matter inside it. But it looks sort of like a phantom, but it's a real crystal inside. Yeah, Where it's different, is isn't it? We've actually got a video on manifestation crystals. That's a different thing to a phantom crystal. Yeah. So we'll put the link down below. If you haven't seen it, check it out because it's quite an interesting one. And with this one here, it actually looks like a manifestation uh, crystal, but it's not, it's a phantom. It's only when you look at it through the magnifying glass, you see it's actually translucent. Mm, you like can actually ghost. see through it. Mm -hmm. So I say just be careful and have a wee look. But look, irrespective of if you've got a uh, phantom quartz or manifestation quartz, if you've got either of those two, it's win-win-win situation. Absolutely, they're very special crystals indeed.
So guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's just a wee quick rundown on, uh, you know, we think they're a fantastic crystal to get your hands on and, uh, you know, sit with them, meditate with them, use your own initiative, uh, your, own, your own intuitive being and just see what where it takes you. But definitely it's great for peeling back of the layers, cutting cords from the past, cutting out of baggage in your life, just sitting looking down those layers of past and say to yourself, well, that crystal has experienced uh, conflict the whole way throughout its life to get to where it is now. Mm -hmm. And look how beautiful it is in the Sarah, same as you are. You know, I mean, the experiences you go through life, experiences we all go through life, you know, we're here now today. Do you know what I mean? Only in the physical sense, you can't get seeing what we've been through. Uh, can't be seeing what you're going through, but just know you're going through it. Same as the uh, the phantom cords, and it'll help you to clarify we issues that's going on within you. So definitely it's a crystal, I would say, to get like. Absolutely, definitely one for your collection, definitely. definitely. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, you cool guys, I'm an onion. and uh, <laughs> So we're all onions. <laughs> Just hope you don't smell like one, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, you're talking garlic. <laughs> Guys, listen, send us love from Ireland. Thanks very much for all your lovely comments and your subscriptions and just really sharing that these videos. It really means an awful lot to us. We love having you here on this journey with Absolutely, us. Absolutely, we uh, we're love We're all you. learning. We're learning from each other. Some lovely comments. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to us uh, here on YouTube. Uh, you could uh, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. And just constantly just drop us a wee message here and there and let us know how you're getting on because we uh, love hearing from you. We do. We absolutely love it, don't we? We love the support. Thanks so much. Really, thank you. It's wonderful. So, send you loads and loads and loads of love from Ireland as always. Bye. See you later, guys. And remember, if you're waking up in bed with somebody else, just then said you're changing seven years. <laughs> that's true, that, that's, that's a good excuse. That's a bad one ever, whatever. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.